Assalamu alaikum family. Please stand for prayer. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Surely I turn myself to thee, O Allah, trying to be upright, to he who has originated the heavens and the earth, and I'm not of the polytheists. Surely my prayer, my sacrifice, my life, and my death are all for Allah, the Lord of the worlds. No associate has he in this am I commanded, I am of those who submit. O Allah, thou art the king, there's no God but thee. Thou art my Lord, and I am thy servant, and I've been greatly unjust to myself, and I confess my faults. So grant me protection against all my faults, for none can grant me protection against faults but thee. And guide me to the best of morals, for none can guide me to the best of morals but thee. And turn away from me the evil and the indecent morals, for none can turn away from me the evil and the indecent morals but thee. And O oh Allah, make Muhammad successful. And make the true followers of Muhammad successful, as thou did make Abraham and the true followers of Abraham successful, for surely thou art praised and magnified. And O Allah, bless Muhammad and bless the true followers of Muhammad, as thou did bless Abraham and the true followers of Abraham, for surely thou art praised and magnified in our midst. Amen. In the name of Allah, the beneficent and merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah who appeared to us in the divine person of Master Fard Muhammad, the great Mahdi, to whom praise is due forever. I further thank Allah for raising in our midst for one from among us, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, as his risen and exalted Christ. And if I thank God for the rest of my life or beyond, if I can live longer than that, I would never... Uh, uh, be able to thank the one who raised me up, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, and he is their divine reminder, their divine warner, and our Messiah today. So it is in their names that I like to greet you, and we like to greet you once again with the Nation of Islam's greeting words of peace in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. Praise be to Allah. Give yourselves a round of applause, family. We're honored by your presence, and we're very, very happy to see you. Whenever you stand on this side, man, I'm telling you, you look beautiful, brothers and sisters. You look like the future. You look like hope. You know what I mean? Because you're not going to see this on the news. You're not going to turn on NBC, CBS, or ABC and see black people with smiley faces, smiling faces, loving hearts, and a mind that's ready to make a move and do some things. So when I'm looking at you, I see people who are ready to build a nation. Is that right? So I'm, all, I'm thankful to Allah for your presence and you taking the time to come out with us down here at Mosque number 12. We also want to thank you for submitting to our check procedure. It's very important in a time like today. The Final Call newspaper, the front of it, talks about how Allah's wrath is right there. We're thankful to Allah that we are properly guided and able to be guided enough, clear enough to be able to even have a check procedure to make sure that this room in this area and wherever we meet is safe for us to be able to put our guard down for a second. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So I'm thankful to Allah for Minister Rodney, our student regional minister here in Philadelphia for allowing me to even come before you and share a couple words that Allah is putting on me to share. This is not a lightweight thing that we do here. When we come before our people, we come before our people with the greatest respect and honor because we are the nation who knows that whenever you look at a black man or a black woman, you're looking at God. So we want to give you, I want you to give yourselves a round of applause one more time before we go ahead and get into this there's a we opened up with the greeting words of peace for all those I believe everybody who came here I've seen you before but all who come here we know what assalamu alaikum means but in our final call newspaper I believe is page 26 where uh, it's entitled Farrakhan the Traveler and Jabril was writing about the greetings of the lost people of the world. 
So when you have, we want to make sure that you get the final call newspaper so you can check out exactly what your brother is saying. But I say it from time to time, and we know that a lie is powerful because you can think something and it pops right up in that final call newspaper. That's why we got to make sure we get that. You know what I mean? So we can be clear on what's going on, current events and everything else, what to eat, what not to eat. Page 19, page 20, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is always giving us what we need to hear in the period that we're living in. Whatever's going on, whether it be uh, racial hatred, crimes and stuff like that, the minister will actually have, because he spoke so much, it'll be an excerpt on page 20 where the minister is giving us guidance to get us through these troubled times. So we thank Allah for that. But on page 26 with Brother Jabril, he was touching on the greetings of this world, that when we see each other, and we know words are powerful because it says right there in John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So if the word was God, that means that word is very important. And the last thing we need to be doing is playing with our word. And that's why in our supreme wisdom, the Muslims in the nation of Islam, we say, that we would give our word before our word fails. That's right. It says, have you not heard that our word is bond right. and bond is life and we will give our life before our word shall fail. Yes, so with that in mind, what words do we say when we see each other in this world when you're not clear on exactly what we should say to each other when we see each other? We say, how are you? <laughs> we say, hello. We even call God's place of abode a kingdom. But Brother Jabril was breaking down how in Arabic, the language is very, very mathematically correct and clear and precise. We don't refer to God. We call Allah, Allah. We don't call him God because God is a dog spelled backwards. Even though these things may look like it's minute, it really ain't. It's really not. And that's the reason I even pointed to that scripture in John chapter one, verse one. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So we don't use words lightly, lightly. You know, when we really understand where we are and what Allah is doing for us, we could just never think a lot enough. We are in a time where the brothers and sisters in the nation of Islam we are one of the few people that believe and teach that Almighty God Allah came to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, revealed, uh, uh, fulfilling scripture and keeping his word. Right. You know what I mean? So we need to really focus on what's being done with us. We have a powerful teaching, you know, from, the, for, from Almighty God Allah through his prophets. So the Holy Quran, it opens up chapter two, which is a chapter entitled Al-Baqarah. That's the cow. The first verse, right after we say Bismillah Rahman Rahim, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, Allah says that I, Allah, am the best knower. Mm, come on. We got to look at that. And one thing I always implore with everyone that I'm in, I'm, I encounter, slow down when you're reading the scriptures. Don't read so fast because you're not reading something that Brother Zebulon said or any of these the brothers, Brother Joseph or even Minister, Minister Rodney. You're reading with Almighty God, Allah, has revealed to his people. So if Allah has a letter for you, how important should you look at that letter? So we're living in a time today where we're catching it. We had a final call ministry that the paper is even entitled. That is no longer just Muhammad speaking, but it's also a final call at the same time. Right. Right. It's a final call because of the things that we are all going through. Yes, I'm not a psychic or a mind reader, but I can look at every one of you and know, like me, you're going through a lot of hell. Yes, Am I right? Come on. Well, I have to talk about the Holy Quran, chapter 29, a chapter entitled The Spider, where Allah says, does man think? that he will make it on saying we believe and not be tried. Oh, Surely we tried those before you, right. or indeed we tried those before you. So why would Allah try us like that? For few reasons, but I'm just gonna to touch on a few. He would try us because he would get a chance to see, and we would get a chance to see the truthful ones from the liars. Right. 
So this is what Allah is saying. Because all of us, I believe, if I ask you, do you love Allah? You will say, oh, I love Allah. Oh, I love Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Oh, I'm a Muslim. I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. He's my God. All of those words sound beautiful, don't they? But how many people show it in their life? So we have on Friday night, student minister Ava Muhammad, a, 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 a lesson entitled Self-Improvement, the Basis for Community Development. Self-Improvement, the Basis for Community Development. We can't improve anything until we improve ourselves. Is that right? Praise be to Allah. So when you're properly guided by Allah, all of the everything that we need to build is right there. Yes, sir. So if we have all the tools that we need to build this great nation that the Bible and the Holy Quran prophesies of, that the last would be the first, that the tail would be the head. Matthew chapter 19, uh, uh, chapter 19, verse 30. It says that the last, yes sir, will be the first. Well, I mean, we don't have to be rocket scientists to know who the last is. <laughs> I mean, in my mind, when you're filled with the spirit of God, and that's how I'm just busting with, with, with joy, family. But I know who I'm looking at. Like I said before, I'm looking at God. So to me and to us, every time you see a black man or woman, you're looking at God. But to the people and the powers that be, the people of this world, when they see any one of us, the last thing they're thinking about is us being valuable. So they treat us just like they see us. Is that right? They treat us last, but we're living in a time right now where all praise is due to Allah. We don't have to worry about how they see us and how they feel about us. All we need to do is improve on ourselves, connect ourselves to the one God, Allah, whose proper name is Allah. And there's nothing that any one of us can do. We have to unite as well. We cannot do these things separately. Malcolm X said it best. He said, if I keep these fingers separated, all I can do is put a little sting mark on your face. But if I pull these components together, these units together, I can knock you out. So we have to knock out the enemy. Just like it says in uh, the Holy Quran, chapter 61, entitled The Ranks. It says that Allah... Not me, but Allah loves those who fight in ranks, upon ranks, as if they were a solid wall. And this is all we're sharing with you, family. This is all we're offering you. We're offering you the unity of that solid wall that Almighty God Allah is talking about. And when we're solid and one like that, there's nothing we can't do. Come on. So at this time... Brothers and sisters, I want you to put your hands together. Let us bring to this rostrum our student regional minister of the Nation of Islam, Minister Rodney Muhammad. Come on now. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, sir.